What's going on YouTube, it's Bully Juice here, and in this video I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a weight gaining protein shake. Anyway, I have a few items behind me. We're gonna go over all of these things really soon. But first, I wanna explain something. Do not comment and tell me that my nipples are showing. I'm aware of that, all right? I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there because I know, I know you was thinking it. I know you was thinking it. Now that we got that taken care of, Let's go ahead and begin this video. Let's jump right in it, right? This right here is actually a cup and we're gonna be putting a lot of things in there. First thing we're gonna put in there is a bunch of oatmeal. Not a bunch, but we're gonna put in half of a cup. Now, this is gonna be one of those weight gain and protein shakes that's more on the healthier side of things. It's gonna help you put on that mass. Obviously, if you want to gain weight, you have to be in a caloric excess. You have to have more calories you're intaking each day than what you are burning. If you wanna lose weight, you wanna have a caloric deficit. Gaining, surplus. Deficit, losing. That's how it works. It's hard to eat a lot of food all day. You feel like you're stuffing yourself I can't really get into calories. It's easier to just drink some type of smoothie and get it all down and get it over with. That's what this is about to help you accomplish. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and put these chocolate chips in. These things right here, it's gonna one, it's gonna change the game as far as making the shake taste a little bit better. It's gonna change the game. We're gonna put in two tablespoons right there. Now also we're gonna throw in some organic bananas. They don't have to be organic. That's just what I picked up at the store. So this is what we're gonna use. One entire banana. You don't have to cut it up if you want to. You can literally just break off pieces, put the entire thing in there. I love bananas. That's going to be the only fruit we use in this smoothie. Sometimes I actually add some blueberries, maybe some strawberries, definitely blueberries quite often because I know what they do on my body. Next up is going to be baby spinach. It can be grown people spinach as well. It doesn't have to be baby spinach, but in this video we're gonna use baby spinach. As always, I like to go ahead and grab a couple handfuls of it. This is probably gonna be enough. And spinach has a lot of great things that it offers you. One being it helps with absorption of all this stuff that you're about to be consuming. So we're gonna put spinach in there. Now, one thing I like to do is go ahead and rinse off the spinach before I actually throw it in the cup with everything else. And once I'm done, it's, it's easy from there. Cut it up a little bit with my fingers or tear it up. And if you notice, I'm putting in all the dry things first. That is what I like to do before I start adding all the things that's actually going to be moist, I guess. Next up for me is going to be some peanut butter. Right? And I say for me because there's going to be actually another option that you could utilize if you'd like to. And that's going to be peanut butter powder. Now there's a lot of differences between the two and it's going to depend on what you're trying to achieve. You got peanut butter powder, you got actual peanut butter. The purpose of this is actually going to be high calorie shape. So the peanut butter actually have more calorie, a little bit more fat than the powdered peanut butter. 